it's your girl Kiara and I'm back with another video. Um, I had to snap out of myself real quick because I was somewhere else for like, cause I planned on making this video earlier, but I had started doing something and when I get into doing something and it take like it has my focus, I two hours ago by like that. So, um, this video is more or less informational. And, well, this is my opinion, by the way. This an opinion video. Take it with a grain of salt. It's not set in stone. I don't know everything. So, don't take this too serious. So, this video is going to be about pros and cons of attending a PWI. Um, it stands for Predominantly White Institution. So, basically, majority white college, university, whatever. So... I attended a PWI for all, I went five years, um, I graduated, I was a fifth year senior because um, when I broke my ankle, it set me back a year because I had to sit out, I actually didn't sit out technically a quarter, but for the program I was attending, for the, um, for the program I was in at the time, I had to sit out a quarter and start back the quarter after. But that's neither here nor there. Um, I spent five years at a PWI. Um, the way I started out at this PWI was more so out of convenience, if that makes sense. Because I wanted to go to actually an HBCU. Um, but the program, uh, but the degree I wanted to graduate in at the time, the HBCU didn't have it, but the PWI did, and they were like right down the road from each other. So I decided to apply for the PWI, um, instead of the HBCU because of that reason. We went on a tour, like my senior year in high school, we went on a tour of said PWI, like they showed us the whole spiel took us to different buildings and we got t-shirts and um backpacks and all these goodies and stuff i still have all my goodies by the way okay i probably like six years later and i still have my goodies so <laughs> um so yeah once i got accepted into the pwi which it wasn't even a um it wasn't even a problem of me getting accepted because i applied to three or four universities but I just I just did that just just to do it but like my whole senior year I was like getting getting uh brochures in the mail Kiara go to this school go to our university we got scholarships we got this we got that we got all this and all that and I just went to I went to the one that I was told to apply for and the rest is history basically um so I'm just gonna tell y'all, during my five years at a PWI, these were my pros and cons. That's my opinion, by the way, this is mine. Cause everybody experience at a PWI is not the same. But as a black woman, my experience was a little different. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share all that. Cause I know y'all wanna support your girl. And without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, so Siri, ain't nobody talking to you. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with the. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the pros because the pros and the cons kind of the same. If you wanna be for real with it, cause I mean, oh, I meant to Google something. I'm sorry, y'all go, y'all gonna be tired of me my phone to look shit up anyway <laughs> i wrote some down because i ain't know what it meant but i figured it out but first things first at a pwi um they have in my opinion a higher standard like they like you tell somebody you go to yale everybody know yeah right everybody everybody know harvard everybody know Stanford. See, see what I'm saying? So, 
a PWI. If you tell somebody you go to a PWI, you're like, oh, oh, well, my, my, um, my lifelong buddy or my son-in-law or my daughter-in-law or my whoever went to that college and they're, they're a successful doctor or a successful lawyer. So if you say a famous university like a PWI, people gonna understand it, people gonna know who it is and nine times out of ten you can like network with people just by you going to a specific university it started raining just then um but yeah you're gonna be known like you're gonna be linked up like when i graduated i knew so many i still i still keep contact with my professors to this day because i i'm gonna need them as a reference as if i need advice whatever the case may be i'm gonna still have them in my phone what i'm gonna need them one way or another second pro i have is the buildings well most most pwi buildings are up to date most most so the one that i graduated from it had a few old buildings not gonna lie it was, it was a couple of them but in the past two years they like five or six have just popped up out of nowhere and i'm just like like where did these come from like dorm they don't tore down a dorm that was probably there since the beginning and they've popped up like five six different dorms they've made a whole new um engineering building like it's dope it's dope like i went in there i think i've been there maybe once i went there once right before the pandemic like literally the weekend before the pandemic I went to that um, building just to see what it looked like and it's nice oh my god but yeah their buildings are up to date for the most part some are old but in due time they will get tore down and rebuilt like so that's, that's probably why our tuition is so high lord but we ain't gonna talk about um I think that's all the cons I have the connections, the buildings are okay. Um, yeah. Okay, now the cons. The cons, I really, they really weren't cons to me because I was fortunate enough to go on um, scholarship and I had grants. Um, and I was just fortunate enough to not have to pay for my schooling so I was blessed for that so for me this was not a con but I know a con is their tuition is super high that's how they afford the new buildings and the new parking lots and the new this and the new that and then all that stuff because tuition is high but that's not my con I was just putting it out there my con was that it's not a lot of black people <laughs> at a PWI it has got my PWI has gotten better. It's like 30, 40% black. I can't remember. But it has went up since I started my freshman year. Like my freshman year versus when I graduated. Big difference. Because when I got there, I felt like I was the only black person there. I may have saw two, three other black people, but that was every 10, 20, 30 feet. So that's a con not having a lot of black people. But at the same time, is that a pro? <laughs> because like my PWI, we made a group of a group chat on on an app, and we we link, we click up. Me being a homebody, I was not as able to go to these get-togethers where they would put it in the group chat like, hey. You know we got a we got a uh, kickback over here or let's go here and we did da, da, da but I was not able to do that because of reasons but that is really cool I don't even know if that's a pro or a con but I 
didn't have no problem with it because I came from a majority white high school, so it wasn't making, it wasn't making me no difference about the college because I came from a predominantly white high school, going to a predominantly white university. It was not a big deal for me, but yeah, it's not a lot. But at the same time, that could be a pro in a sense as far as you have a diversity of different people of different ethnic backgrounds. Like you had Asians, um, Africans, you had Latin Americans, you had Europeans. Like I met some people who spoke like three languages and I'm like, what? Like, like, I was like flabbergasted because I'm like, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? So, you also get connections that way by um, running to people from different ethnic backgrounds. They might, they can teach you something like you can teach them something. So, it's like a give and take. And, yeah. I don't know if it's a con or a pro. So, I'm just, I'm a, I don't know. Another con of a... PWI is the rigorous curriculum because the first program that I went to university for when I tell you you had to literally you had to study the your first day like they told you a ain't no planning ain't no ain't no syllabus day ain't no syllabus day you get up in here you staying all day we finna teach you something right now pull out your book let's get going and I was like ma'am I, I just got here what are you talking about but that only really happened when you was like in your program not like the prereqs where you're just general your general class like when you get into the into the spot like where you finna like this is what you finna be getting like working in like it was it was it was you had to get it going so, very rigorous curriculum, homework out the ass, assignments every other day, an exam every two weeks, the exams was timed, they're graded in front of your face, you are having a heart attack because you sitting there looking at them grade your stuff. I'm like, can I just, can I go to the bathroom? Like, I can't. So, as far as curriculum goes, I'm not saying all HBCUs curriculum is like lenient but PWIs they gon they gonna make sure you earn that degree you gonna earn that degree one way or another and when you earn it you gonna feel like you gonna feel like you earned that stuff man like when I earned my degree I'm like man yeah I did I did and whatever so that's really a prawn <laughs> Oh, a crow. It's a pro and a it's a pro and a con. The way the way I'm saying this, it ain't making no sense. But um, it's just I'm going from my experience. Like I said, I was not in a sorority. Only organization I was in was my program's organization. Um, I wasn't in BSU. I wasn't none of that. I was none of that. So I can't tell you about the organizations or the sororities. But I made a couple friends that I can really say they my friends. Um and that's and yeah, one thing about it, I think I was like one of two black people in my class. One of it was never more than five, it was never more than five black people in my class. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Only classes that it may have been more than five was like if the class I'm taking, other majors are taking, like kinesiology, biology, nursing, um, what else? Communications. Like if it was multiple uh, majors in that class, yeah, you're gonna have more black people because you know this is what happened, but. My particular major, I was like three, three, three or four, three or four black people in my major, three or four, and I, 
kind of knew them by name, but at the same time, I felt like they wasn't trying to know me. Like I tried to get, I tried to get to them, but they wasn't trying to get to me like that. So I may, I may be some white friends. I ain't gonna lie, and they, they know me, and I know them. But one thing that never changed by me attending a PWI was who I was. I never changed my attitude, I never changed my personality, I never changed how I dressed, how I walked, how I talked, how I did my hair, how none of that. I was never gonna do that. But yeah, that's really all I got for this video. <laughs> that's all I really got for this video, y'all. This was like a quick little something. I gotta make sure I gotta keep the videos coming for y'all. I gotta keep them coming, keep them coming, keep them coming. Keep them coming. And this is the end of the video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share, Ali. Because I know y'all want to support your girl. And like I always say, <laughs> this is gonna be a messed up video. <laughs> Bye guys.